I'm Law and Crime's Brian Buckmeyer, and these are today's top legal and sports stories here on the Football Sports Network. Deshaun Watson is facing new sexual assault allegations from a Jane Doe, accusing the Cleveland Browns quarterback of pressuring her to give oral sex. However, Watson says he has the DMs to prove his innocence. Watson was sued back on October 13th for a 2020 alleged encounter, but in recent court documents, Watson's attorneys have revealed direct messages and texts. Some texts days after the alleged incident saying, I'd like to meet up again, and others nearly a year after the encounter, supposedly showing the woman bragging about her oral sex abilities. Watson's attorneys say the alleged victim's allegations were rejected by the Harris County DA's office, police department, and a grand jury. They are seeking to impose monetary sanctions against the woman's legal team. A Moscow court has rejected Brittany Griner's appeal of her nine-year prison sentence for smuggling less than a gram of cannabis oil into a Moscow airport. Griner's attorneys believe the verdict had defects and the punishment was excessive based on existing court practices. U.S. officials believe that Russia will eventually send the WNBA star back home in a prisoner swap. However, Russia hasn't responded to a U.S. offer made in June. The appeals court subtracted the time Griner spent in pretrial detention from the nine-year sentence, meaning she will serve about eight years in prison. She's expected to be sent to a Russian penal colony to serve her time. Minnesota Vikings' Olsa Mecca Odin was arrested for an incident that happened in a nightclub where he reportedly followed a woman into a bathroom. The reserve lineman faces one charge of resisting an officer without violence. Reports are that Odu was speaking to a woman in line for the bathroom, followed her into the bathroom, then refused to leave. Odu's attorney said he never followed a woman into the restroom and never prevented a woman from going anywhere. He continues by saying the woman actually reached out to his office and says the allegations are false. Those are your top legal and sports stories. Make sure to check out the day's most exciting live trials at the Law & Crime Trial Network, now available with a Fubo TV subscription.